Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my Tickle It series, this is episode 189. And I've told you today I'm looking at a game called Backbone. Apparently there's a prequel to this too on Steam at 1499. I got this copy from, again, the Humble Bundle, Monthly Bundle, or the Humble Monthly Chosen, I think it's still called now. Um, and there's also a thing that says a teaser for a new one coming out at some point, and it seems to be just background stuff. Other than that, I know nothing about this game. It's going to look quite good, and... Um, for some reason, I already started in settings. I was doing my one, two, three, click, one, two, three, audio, etc. I forgot to leave on this menu. But other than that, I haven't done anything with the game. Anyway, I have new game settings quit. So, languages. English, obviously. And these other languages do. So, I can't scroll, but turn it off. The other languages, if you need them, are in it. Second language. Why have I got a second language? Anytime during the game, you can switch between the primary language and secondary language. Why? That seems odd. I understand the main language, you can swap it when you want, but what? what, what, what? Okay. Oh, so you have to have one on the finger. Okay, that's in English then. Okay, so apparently I've got it on that second language. I have no clue why they've got that set up that way, that's weird. L. Oh, okay, so if they're L in the game, it swapped languages over at any point. That's weird. That, I feel that's a weird feature. Normally, like, you pick the language, or go to the options and re-pick the language. I guess that last game I did take a look at on Unmetal, you how I messed the language up at the start. The trouble is, that'll be, I won't understand what it says anyway, but that would be good for that, wouldn't it? Let me do a chat. No, it still says L. Okay, weird. Do they use the same L, do they? Apparently every keyboard has an L on it. <laughs> that is what I'm seeing right here because the bottom's changing. I don't know. So I had a Portuguese, I wouldn't even... I oh, know, it's still on L. Okay. So every keyboard in the world has an L on it. Is that what it's telling me? That was on that anyway. Whatever, that's weird. Language switch enabled, off and on. I don't even have it off as default, so if you put it on the wrong language, it's not going to work then, I guess. Well, that was weird. Don't understand that. Okay. Visuals. Uh, it started off small, and I had to alt and enter to make it bigger, but apparently it's window mode. Uh, you can put it full screen window, ultimate, 30 frame, whatever, shadow quality, that's just maxed out. Audio, we will turn the music off, we'll copy in case, boom. I think what it's on with how the music was going, it's probably okay for uh, sound. Controls. Uh, oh, there's not, there's not many controls to this thing. Left, right, run, crouch, interact, detect mode. Wow, there's not many controls. Okay, was there anything under the visuals that let you change the... There isn't, is there? Uh, the, the font size or anything. Okay. Should look back. No, we can do a new game. So I'd probably show you 30 minutes for an hour of this. Because I'm going to want something small I can look at, and then there's, there's something else we want to look at on next week. Oh, we're recording this as well as so we go to the prologue, by the way. Interested. It is the 6th of April, 2023. It's probably obviously going to be out well, way past this date. I've got a, I'm trying to get a backlog of these right now because I'm moving, I'm moving and everything. Well, hopefully this book when this goes out should be past April 28th and we should be moved. That was a lot of readers. Sorry, I missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Okay. Do I need to click or just let it, no, just let it run? Just enough time to clean up. Use AMD, buttons to move, E to interact, tab to access. Okay, simple. Inspect card. Okay, buried in town, labor stint. And one thing as well, on Steam it's got uh, the, the prologue free to download. This just came up prologue, so is it this separate you can test on Steam? This is what I'm doing now, where the main game just has the prologue go straight after the prologue goes into the main game. It seems weird to have this start as a prologue, but then you have a free prologue on Steam, if you know what I'm saying. That seems... So I think it might be this bit we're doing now. Burnt out, Labour Disc, West End. 
Okay. Don't do nothing with the mouse now. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably be in some of these old files. So I'm gathering this is some kind of detective thing, especially what he's wearing. Uh, as a, um, I was going to say bandit, not a bandit. Um, ah, raccoon. He's a raccoon, isn't he? Oh, that tips the living room. Anything else in this room I can do first? Use to drag and. Okay, what does that? It means the mouse, right? Not the middle mouse button. To drag and drop items, some items can be picked up. Press F. Uh, press E, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's a little different. One of the things with only certain items, though. There we go. Was that it? Another thing to pick up? You think that'll be something? Okay. What does Tab do again? Oh, that's just a thingy. Do it dishes. I could do them or just hide them from the, the client. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, did he get, was he doing something when I just sat standing there then? Oh, okay. It's up and down a lot, isn't it? Office. Media. Got to hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash, so never. Come on, buy soap. Pay bills, don't die. You should have to write down don't die, just saying. Call your mum, maybe. Buy the soap, maybe. Pay the bills, maybe. Don't die. Even then, you should pay your bills. Photo chemicals. Living, leaving photo developers in the kitchen is sure road to poisoning or a great soup. Huh, now, see if I've got don't die on there. I get tired of this view. Place dishes. I'll wash these later, probably not. I oh can't. It's. Living room. Great apes, the great stories. Swell toilet read. Elton Graham said it best lightning account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects, essential. So he's literally got his bathtub in his kitchen. I was going to say that's weird. Listen, where we are right now, we don't have it in the kitchen, but literally open, open, basically. That's why it's so small here. That's what I don't like is like, we have like a toilet in a room like this. The room's a little bigger because they go a square over and you've got a shower. And then the sink, I can't face forward, is over here. And there's like this small corner with nothing. So anyone's doing it to stuff, then you and we don't have a, a bath and I miss a bath so much and then you come straight out and you're straight in the kitchen then you turn right and there's a door where you can go into the bedroom and in the bedroom you can turn right into a closet and that's where Aurora is right now what sucks with her cot just fits in barely but I said if you came out of the thingy we got the kitchen and then from the kitchen it cuts off say here and then, voila it spreads straight that way or maybe if you look forwards uh, basically into the living room, space, dash computer room, <laughs> uh, you know, basically everything room. So, yeah, we don't have much room. If anything, I think his place might be a little bigger. Even though we don't have the bathtub in the kitchen. But then again, we don't have a bathtub, so if we did have a bathtub, it probably would be the kitchen. <laughs> but if it did, it would probably be blocking the door to the bedroom. So, yeah. This place is probably about as... We might be a little... If you face forward, a little wide that way in the, the living room, computer room, everything room. But, but I guess he has his bedroom... Yeah, I guess he's his bedroom's in his kitchen. His bathtub's in his kitchen. At least we have our own bedroom. We don't have a bathtub, so that's the reason not in the kitchen, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there's his living room. But then he does have his own office. So really, man, so this office is our bedroom. Here's extra door here, I guess has to leave. So Okay. 
So what have I missed now? I just realized I've been through the whole room. Full of books, living room. Tidy up before the new client. Oh, there's something else I need to grab. Uh, I haven't. That's a crawl. Doesn't make any difference to what you grab, is it? Oh, place chemicals there. Okay, so I have to move them chemicals. That was all that I was missing. Fine. There it is. Yeah, I feel jealous. I feel this guy's got a bigger space than we do right now. Obviously, hopefully the 28th. What well, could be 27th. Not 100% sure yet. We can actually finally move after almost two years of trying to get to this house. So Then we'll have a lot of space. Our living room will probably... Again, it's one that, again, I think it's just the way Americans generally do this. Because, again, I'm from Britain, married American. I'm used to having my kitchen in a separate room. And then you move from the kitchen to the living room. Americans seem to like this open thing where you have the kitchen open. And then you go into the living room, what's still open. You might have an island or something or something blocking it generally, but this, it's not fully. I don't personally like that, but like I said uh, to Suno to Tiffy, when we're picking a house, there's certain things we have to sacrifice. Like, we're getting a smaller garden than we wanted, uh, stuff like that. Some of the rooms, like, we, we got three bathrooms in the new house. You know, one of them's tiny as anything, obviously, I prefer that not to be as tiny. You know, there's a lot of things we've got to sacrifice. Suno Tiffy wanted to pick, because the way we pick the house, there's certain things in it, like tier one, the class house, tier two's more expensive, tier three's more expensive, tier one's default. And there's a lot of tier two and three things that Tiffy wanted, and it's like, oh, we can't afford to do them, so we have to sacrifice having them. And if I remember correctly, Tiffy wanted to get a garage, and I think she would, said she preferred a, a free car garage, but she, if she had to not have one, she would, she would but I think we had to get a two car one. So a little bit of sacrifice there for her for that. I, I, another big sacrifice, I always place what are in walking distance from me. Uh, the only thing in walking distance is the schools. For again, I get mixed up with their school system right now. In my understanding, uh, I believe the nursery is not nearby. Going off British stuff, whatever their equipment nursery is, but I believe our juniors, so whatever their juniors is, then the school that is nearest by, and our high school, I think. And I'm not sure if Tiffy said if they have juniors, if they have infants or not. If there's a, their juniors and infants are kind of the same thing, I'm not 100 sure. So basically, the initial school we miss, and then I think we she gets to go to school and I can walk to it, and then another school's five minutes away from that, so I can walk to that with her. But we have no shops right now, but I was also hoping, because there's a school nearby, and there was bits they're building up, maybe they'll put a couple of shops in. Okay. Uh, audit. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for a detective oh, Lota. Lota? Lota? Is that, is that my name or no? I don't know. Don't know what her name is. We spoke on the phone, did we? I gather you have a case for me, Miss Green. Is that her actual name or is it because she's been green? I service Miss Green. How's your day going? That's me. You're vague before, so tell me everything, Miss Green. How's your day going? Uh, truth to be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine, and please. Update is fine. Up, update? Oh, it must be a kid or your husband. She's pregnant, apparently. Okay. You got it. How can I help you today? You didn't say much when you were your first kid. Uh, truth be told. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's the old stuff up there. Got you. Oh, you can scroll. Okay, me. It's this one. Third, actually. Huh. So you had for. So you didn't come to ask about my baby, sir. They can be, but they're the silver lining every day. I bet they're about adorable tired a lot. They're adorable. They are. Daisy, my eldest especially, she takes such good care of Ellen. Okay, one good thing we're doing this, because I'm assuming it's going to be a, a, a biggie later report. I'm hoping it saves this information for me. But basically, maybe these names are going to come up into it. Like she said, she has three kids and that, and if she suddenly starts talking about the case and my two kids or something. It's like, wait a minute, you mentioned Freddy. What? No, I didn't. Yes, you did when we first got here. Free oh, yeah, yeah, of course, my Freddy. Uh -huh. That might be so she's lying or something or whatever. Uh, especially, the but I'm hoping it saves this information for me so when that does pop up, the character will have it as an option. So I can, oh, yeah, you did lie about that. 
and to give me a reminder. Hey, oh, Daisy, my eldest especially, she takes such good care of Elinette. So mm. how can I help you today, Odette? Then this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. He's a cheer, ain't he? I'll, I'll, I'll be nice because I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Did she in on you? Try to talk to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult. Like, it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. So she's not said that. I need it for the court. Tell me about the off affair. Get you your proof on it. I'll take in the case. Court, are you filing for divorce? That's right. That, above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. I want the kids. I can't take any chances anymore. Has he said or done something to make you that think like he would? When did you realise he's been unfaithful? It's a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Better when I know everything. I'd really rather keep a few boundaries, Mr. Lauter. It's our an added expense. Tell me how you caught onto the fair. You have to be joking. Every sort of, of misery is another loon in your pocket. Is that it? I'm oh, seeing a bit funny now. You have to understand I can't take any risks. Professional. We're going to need more resources if there's custody in question. I'll give you the damn money. Now let's move on. Wow. Tell me how you caught with a affair. He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late. Missing work and smelling funny. Hold up, he has been aggressive. Where did aggressive come from? Kind of man, now he started getting home, missing work and smelling funny. She didn't mention being aggressive, where did that come from? He's always been a private kind of man, so he's private. There's no aggression in that. Now he started getting home late, he's coming home late. Where's aggression in that? He's missing work, well that doesn't make you aggressive. And smelling funny. Oh, she's probably like smelling the perfume of the other person or something. Or something like that. How is that being aggressive? I don't understand why it's even in there. What kind of smell? Caught him lying. What kind of smell? It's like perfume, yeah, that's right, perfume. And not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something. Pulling a kind of herbal stink. So, in other words, he's going to a nightclub or bar or something. Got you. Does not mean he's necessarily having an affair. It means he's, he could be going to like a strip club, so hence women around them, or he just, in general, he could be working at one. And he, he you know, to save money for the kids and stuff, and he's actually ashamed about it. So, and of course he's serving, and there's women around, and that's what's getting this poetry on you. And the smoke, so he may not be having a fair yet. He's being aggressive, no, he's skipping work. He had calls from his boss wondering if he was sick. I even could for him. I'm so fed up with it. Okay. If he's trying to get money for his kids, skipping work is probably not a good idea. He could be, you know, a gambling problem maybe. Or maybe this other job he's doing on Saturday is earning him more money. So he's skipping his other job for the more money one. Then you caught him lying. Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met, or at least I thought so. How late we talk him. Way past the kids dinner time, okay, so that's anything from five to seven. I asked what he was doing, it didn't go well. And when I assume they say dinner, they mean tea time, not dinner as midday. So I would normally class like dinner, lunch, just the same meal, and then tea is like five, seven. You know, the main meal of the day. So that was super not tiffy sometimes, it's like eight o'clock. What do you want for dinner today? Uh, we're talking about lunch or we're talking about tea? I'm talking about dinner. Which one is it? Fine tea. <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> well, I don't know which one it is. I don't know what, what, what food we're looking at. <laughs> Way past the kids' dinner time. Hold up, has he been aggressive? Okay, I guess I can just ask that. <laughs> I can't see how this is primitive to my lot, Mr. Loter. Well, it isn't. That's why I don't understand why is it. He's friend to take the kids. Oh, that's where he got the kid thing from. He has threatened to take them, yes. Oh, you said earlier that it didn't matter. Okay, so he is picking up stuff she said. Where was that bit? Didn't she say basically it didn't matter and stuff? She argued over it when I was asking about the divorce. 
I'm in enough custody won't even be a question. Your husband won't. Yeah, there. Your husband will. Uh, your husband will want to take the kids. I, I can't take any chances anymore. That implies that she doesn't know if he wants the kids or not, doesn't it? You know, I don't know. I've not brought it up. I don't want to risk it. So he could. He could not. We don't know. But he has or done something to make you think he would. Separate issue. One I don't want to dig into right now. So again, she's, she's going around the bush, but I guess it could be from that. It's a separate issue. So in other words, she's kind of eluding it, isn't she, I guess. Better when I know everything. Yeah, so she's trying to say no, won't she? Or not give me the answer. It's not your fault. It's easy, but it's right. I know you're right. Thank you for sharing. I know this can't be easy. Let's nail this B without taking the case. Can't be easy. So I'm finally being brave for them at least. Did she? Did, oh, I didn't read. Did she agree to the aggression? Uh, he threatened to take the kids. He has threatened to take them. Yes, Daisy and Elton shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect them. Okay, so he did. Okay. This is when I read that, wasn't it? I was like, wait a minute, I didn't even finish reading this. It's now to be a word. I didn't want to say that, but apparently I have to. Sure, what do you need to know? I just. Just didn't just go for everything. What does he look like? I guess that makes sense. He, here's a photo. He's an otter. Of course. Well, you're an otter too, aren't you? Unless you're a beaver. I apologize for you. Yeah. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones. His wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase. To and from work. Where would I find him, usually, I mean? Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of the crowd? He wears a suit to work. Uh, I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Okay, green tie and green hat. What's his full name? Any uh, aliases? Jimmy Green. Je Jeremy Green, sorry. I think people at work call him Jess. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank. Um, Grayville. I write the address down for you. That should be enough. That's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Hundred fifty. Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. Please be careful. Nobody can know we spoke. If it, this gets out, I'm as good as dead. Dead? Are you being literal with that? That he's going to kill you, or are you just doing a saying that I'll be good as dead? Cause he's going to find out and he's going to make it harder on the court case, etc. Trust me. I'm going to start immediately call you later tonight. Goodbye. Hmm. Can we now go? Oh, can I? It's got me here, so I guess I need to inspect this. Was this a side up before? Because I thought that I had this sitting here, so it's just fine, but I didn't get anything. Okay, uh, tab. The problem I pay for. Why can't I do anything with it? Okay, whatever. Oh no. I went straight to the thingy. <laughs> Should I press the loading bar? <laughs> okay. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Yo, old man, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man, even if I had, why would I tell you? Yeah, how's your day so far? Just hanging, what's up with you? Say, I'm hanging too. From my uh, hanging to yours, peace, bro. Bye then. That went well. Yo, man, bye. Got shifted run now, okay. Hey, 
Yeah, Mr. Howie, what a rascal like you up to and finding me like this. Hey, Anna, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? My beaver, how are Ashton and the kids? They're both doing just fine, is he? And I are good. Great, we even blessed the shepherd. Got a second lad due soon? Oh, I got a great story for you. Another while. Wow. You guys are lucky. Too, too many, if you ask me. Thanks. He, he's a big one, too. Essie is round as a watermelon. Uh, anywhere? Anyway, the story, I tell her. Ha, woman, you get a big, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Why will you be putting the trunk of the car? What, what's base of the boots? Uh, ha, funny. And so, ha, ha, she just turns to me with her eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh, boy, woman, man. Give me the bread, what? Yeah. Woman? Woman, Mr. Sh creatures, they love bread. So we break the news to our boy, Victor. Son, you're going to have to a bro soon. And he'll like, oh no, our bro, what is it? Okay. There, that's what you told him. So I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard, so the apes l let us have another baby, baby boy, just like you. Seriously? Like, this guy's weird. It's a rare chance for sure. Sure is. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, Daddy, we're going to be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's the catch. Oh, God, what's the catch? You and Mama are going to have to look after him because two babies mean zero daddies. What? Because Daddy has to work four shifts instead of... Oh, got you, got you. You see, you're not going to be there as much because you're working more. Got you. It's a little thing, but zero daddies, you got to come up at some point. <laughs> Well, that will be uh, depressing fast. You okay? Yeah, I've seen him. Barrel of laughs kind of guy. Smells really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. What? Oh. I didn't mean to click that one. I thought I clicked the one above it when I was saying about the, 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 the depression thing. Well, I did. You okay? I managed, I managed now. What did you say you were doing here? Oh, okay. That's why, and he just went straight to it. Okay, got you. Did you have a talk? Did he mention anything? Oh, yeah. You seen him? Barrel last kind of guy. Smells really bad. Took him back from the bike. Okay, good, good, good. Is there anything that seems strange? Nah. He was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for both of us. Ha! Any idea where he is now? Just the bike. It's a good guess as any. It's a good place, though, eh? Hey? He smelled of what exactly? Ah, you know. Poopy can smell, stale booze, stale booze, perfume, herbs, awful, awful stuff. Thanks, uh, whatever your name is, Antonio, you're, you're a detective's best friend. Regards to Elster. Take care, my man, bye. So the bike, we need to go. The day, you bought, bought, the day I bought a bike, Citizen, Maine, Johnny and John, don't drive. They did a uh, job restoring the road. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Cocktails and a movie. Sounds like a great plan. The weekend, actually. Got like a horse up there watching stuff. Oh, I didn't miss anything because I doubt that I. Yes, I did. Fudge. Why is shift not working? There, there we go. Uh, Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. Okay, so we're on to the bite. I hope we can talk to the rabbit. Wolfbank is where the green works. Banker, yeah? How are you doing this pleasant evening? You folks working at what? Right, right. How are you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you ask? Take a look at this foe. Have you seen this man? It's just around. Ah, who are you? That owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. When was the last time you saw him? <laughs> yeah. You and me both, pal, and Derek, good luck getting it back anytime soon. Oh, he'll pay if I can find him. Seen him today. My luck, when was the last time you saw him? Today. But the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's going to split the, his wig. Okay, uh, hit him in the head. Got him open, that sort of thing. Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. B-word had it coming. 
Do you boys spend time with him outside of work? Where do you think he's headed? Your girlfriend or something? Do you reckon Harlots are sort of girlfriends? Harlots, yeah, that's prostitutes, isn't it? Then sure, could be with one of them for all I know. Where do you think he headed them? Boys spending time outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite. Every Thursday or two he turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could, could he be there now? How the F would I know? Now skedaddle, rah. I'll do just that. Okay. So obviously we put to the bite. Grilled fish rooms, veggies. Where's the bite? If it wouldn't fit in with this crowd, wouldn't want to. Can I get the bite? No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. What do you mean for raccoons? That's not a bit racist. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend, Carol's waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Give me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Uh, so I'll buy. I'll try this again. What, what do you want? Are you inside? Still no. Let's get. Okay, this is not good. It's a great start. Um, you want any other talk to get into? How do I get in? Can go down the alleyway? Haha, <laughs> yes I can. What's this, Barbers? 14 for a trim. I'll stick to the mirror. A pair of scissors and a large whiskey. So the alleys are going to end the crouch mode. Just to stand. Why do I need to crouch? Some duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Okay, that's what crouch is for. I'm going the alleyway. Hello, Larry. Howard. Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Whoa, Larry. Larry, what are you doing here? Larry. How are you doing, old man? You're calling me old. You should look in the mirror. Sherwood, man, are you okay? I'm doing okay. I'm looking for someone. Really, thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? You re recently seen an otter guy around here? I'll tell you later. What did he do? Well, things to his pregnant wife. Can't tell a client confidential, likely. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Must be a shifty guy. Uh, what's, what's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a green tie. He's short, skinny, wears a yellow hat. Here's a photo. Yeah, that should have photo be easier. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. I think I know where to look. Tough break. I'm really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. It's more of a cat and dog. You said your guys are an otter, that's weird. Uh, have any ideas of how I could get him? Can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. Oh, how you may be able to pass as a cat, but even then you'd be ugly. Wow! No all the seriousness I need in. Uh, what you could do is ask Johnny. He's uh, n known better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but he he's dead chummy. So the stuff does Johnny push. Typical like hype and shatterfang. Is that a drug? It's supposed to be shatterfang. Oh, get this. Oh, look at that. That's neat. <laughs> oh, I was like, uh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. He comes up with these names. It's like they don't want you to do the drugs. Wow. And you think this Johnny guy can help, monkey butt? Yeah, word is that the things, the sure word. Though perhaps are a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have any kind of herbal stink? Oh yeah, because that thing he could be doing drugs. Not first hand, the spirits, but I guess that could be a more delicate way of putting it. So he's a druggie then. Do you know, and he looks bad and distinct and he's high, hence drunk. Are you Johnny's guy helped? Do you know what the bite? Alright, that's enough to get into the bite. I think this Johnny guy's help. Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line, his clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth, uh, lots of rumours floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the bear family. Crime family last year. 
uh, her head of the family up and dead. What? Head of the family up and dead. Up and died, sorry. And the sheer word hit the fan. Her heir ended up in prison. And the current owner is a relative. Yeah, she's the daughter or something. Wow. What are the rumours? What's the deal? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. What are the rumours? Oh, all kinds of bullshit word. How's she got an ape for her lover? Or that she was the one who got all the other kills so she could take over. Alright, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite, thanks. You got it, Howard. I welcome distraction really soon, you see. Sure, Larry. Uh, thank you. I'll see you. Oh god, he's puking. Did he say he was like a squirrel? Okay, is he in here or is this part of the bite still? No answer. Okay. Doesn't look weird at all. Old offer still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out. Whatever it may be next time. Can I say hi? No. Rich people clothes. One stock is more expensive than the whole outfit. Stock, not stock. Where's this guy? Once I got punched by a guy in a in a Fedro, Fedro, what that is? Uh, who then puked all all over my new coat. Ah, memories. Up here. There we go. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Anything good happening for a change? For a loan, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. Just want the headlines. Uh, front pages today are all great ape parada. Something underway. Celebrate starts Friday. How's that news? It's the same every day. No way, the floats are different every time. Going to sell mounds of nibbles drop by. Thanks, see you around. That's business anyway, so see you around. Okay, so who's the guy after? You see nothing. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy Flanders. Okay, so where's this guy I'm looking for? Is he already standing in there? God, what was it Chimic looking for? This wasn't you, was it? No. Squirrel's him. Hey Johnny? Who's asking? Well, I'm pleased to meet you. I am. <clears throat> yeah, I'm Johnny. What's it to you? Got any drugs? Here's your deal with monkey butts. I need to get to the bite. The F? Where did you get that stupid idea? Stripper? Just a rumour. It's going around, so will you help me out? Friend. Oh, you need better friend. I don't have sure word like you. Get me into the bite, and I'll be your friend for life. You know where to get it. Squ uh, square things with the bouncer for me, and you make a big sale. Time for this. I need to get into the bite, and you're going to make it happen. Doesn't let any old chump in for good reason. Say I make your. You, what that word is, what does Johnny get in return? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. I'm a detective, my mark is in the bite, I'll owe you one. Just a warm, fuzzy feeling, you're a nice guy after all. Tread lightly, punk. I will take you into the alley and F you up. 
if you're not careful. Wow. See that police dog down the street? I bet Dowie would love to sniff your pockets. You feel me? You've seen yourself? Why would I go anywhere with you? Is that a promise? <laughs> Are you on something right now? Trust me, I'm not. <clears throat> I could be. You play your cards right. Can I earn your trust? Trust me, I'm not. I don't trust strippers, let alone one in a trench coat. You look into my eyes, do they look like the eyes of a liar to you? A bit rich coming from the bushy tailed corner boy, don't you think? Trust me, I know what is in my heart. Shut your mouth, or I'll stuff your trash tile in it. Tail. Oh, there's it <coughs> busting her gut in the farmlands. Play when you're angry. You know you're right, I'm a loser, but I need your help. Phew. I'll get you in, but only so you overdose and get eaten alive by federal geese. Meet me at the entrance, fool, after you. Words. I kind of should go into other thing with the dog thing, but it sounded cool, and I thought I could go back to that. So, talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Here's Johnny! <laughs> hey Johnny. Oh, you brought my favourite customer, Stripper. You can, you, can, you can come in, don't cause any trouble. Be right back, Southside. Thanks. <laughs> cause me Stripper. You can do you are. Here we're in. Jazz I've got beautiful kit. Canine ladies are a little too high and for my taste. He's an otter, isn't he? He's a fox. Who's this person? Well, you're unusual. Sorry, not unlike that greeting. As a compliment. As you will, though it was just an observation. Rene Wilson. Howard Lauter. Pleased to meet you. Wallace, pleased to meet you. That's a fake name. You're too young for a Walters. Calling it, that's a line you would have said that no matter what name I gave. Well, I'm Walters right now. You're quick. For what I confess, you got me in the name. You're a wit. Guess that makes us even. Take my card. It's the gate journalist. It's a fake card. To what end, I wonder? It's a mask, you wear it well, but your true persona is slipping through the cracks. The intrigue, what am I running away from? You're tangled in some illegal affairs, annoying suitors yourself. <laughs> oh, d do tell me more, maybe I'll write a piece about it. Maybe later, I'm going to keep the card. By all means, if you run into something newsworthy, you know who to call. Investigate a journalist. How's the gig? It's a living, usually. How you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? Can you answer me the question? Cobble. Hey there, you're here for Elder Simmons show too. I'm so happy to see her live finally. Uh, haven't heard of her before. How was a nice sound though? Not quite, I'm actually here running a sort of errand. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen it? Oh, 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 gentlemen, here's his photo. Oh, I don't know, maybe, but I wasn't paying it to close attention, I couldn't be sure. Oh, well, did you see Oz and Simpsons play him? Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. What makes her great? Does she play here often? She's not a big fan. I got a record player just for her. She's mostly all I listen to. Have you been here before? <laughs> My mom doesn't approve of this place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. I'll come if you don't mind me asking. Good music sounds like it was worth it. That's something we have in common. Uh, I don't think she stepped foot in a bar here her entire life. There are sleazy dens in her head. Like it's worth it for good music. Ah, well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. You know what? I'll be get, get going by. You know I had to do my share of sneaking to be in here tonight. Yeah, I don't say that. Isn't this too dreamy? Listen, 
I'm looking for someone. Well, you're. Oh, well, you sure are. <laughs> <coughs> I love this music. Want to dance with me? I'm looking for a friend. I don't know. Yeah, because we get to know them better, they're more likely to open up, aren't they? Uh, sorry, no. Can you at least answer a couple of questions for me? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. Okay, I went well. Sugar, enjoying yourself? I'm here. How could I not be? Not yet, my friend's late. I'm worried about him. How touching. Uh, they're regular. Jeremy, he's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him, but what's he like? Green tie, green hat, glasses. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Uh, why are you looking for him? He is. He's an investigator. For drinks. You could try asking the bartender or Miss uh, Bloodworth. Thanks for your time, Miss. Drink while I'm at it. Bloodworth, she's a manager. If you insist. She poison. Surprise me. I'll try. Maybe she'll talk more though. Okay. <laughs> Guess he's trying to look around. I wonder that middle one's an auto, but he looks shifty though. Okay. Okay, he's gonna keep going around, get out of that. You look a little lost. Is that obvious? I'm exactly where I need to be. It, it, it is to me. Gave it away. You seem right at home. You seem right at home. Practically am, wouldn't you say? Boy? First name terms with the bartender too, eh? Allow me to fully introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own a Oh, you're the owner. Well, allow me to say you've got a very cozy place here. If I had known I'd have been more mindful of my manners. No need to stand on ceremony with me, darling. And so to whom do I owe the pleasure? How would lot of private risk here? Name's Wallace. Pleasure is mine, Wallace, and what's your profession? Publishing house, do you read? Nothing specific. I read that's a little bit insulting. Probably like, do you read? It's a little bit insulting, isn't it? Nothing specific. Just gigs here and there, whatever pays. Private stuff mostly. That would work. Creative so impressive. So how can I help you, darling? Well, that's Well, you're the expert. Do you have any special recommendations? Don't say that I'm just a specialist to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So, what brought you here tonight? For a other gentleman named Jeremy Green, know him? He's here to meet a friend. Has you also provide more exciting services? Well, now that depends. What sort of excitement are you looking for? Uh, talking about here? I heard I've been able to shoot some high grade monkey butt around here. So, must have a VIP section, am I wrong? I'm not sure you're quite qualified for it yet. Just yet. I'll do anything what's required. Can you at least tell me what's I'm missing up there? Uh, yeah, I bet he's in the VIP section. Is this enough for you? Quiet. Simple. Convince me that at least one word of what you have told me is truthful. How am I going to do that? I've only been to Ultra Lisa Seer. Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you, and it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. Seriously? Too bad, guess I'll find somewhere else to give me money to. Excuse me? I understand. Give my money to. As you wish, perhaps your our paths will cross some other time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Feeling we will. You too, Classer. Well, that went well. Did you just kick me out? Did you get kicked out? Oh, for crying out loud, seriously! Ugh. Ugh. I think I well. Uh. Oh, who's that? She wasn't there before. Florence. What are you looking at? Are you alright? Just need to get into that building right there. Are you alright? Uh, fine, what's it to you anyway? 
Don't look fine, I'm just trying to help. I'll try right on the tag. Said, I'm fine, get lost. Alright, right on the tag. I told you I'm not leaving till I get them back. Get what back? Get who back? Are you looking for someone? Uh, right. Make like you don't know. Not fooling me. No, sir. I'm on to you. And I'm not moving from the spot till you let me talk to my daughter. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Yeah, not one of them thugs. You're not one of them thugs. I mean, no harm. You just look like you could use some help. What well, thugs? I'm really here on my own business. Well, maybe I could if you're really not. How about to your daughter? She's in that filthy dot 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 and I've been coming for days. But they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. What's she doing in there? I'll let you talk to her. What's she doing in there? Kid decided she's going to make it all on her own. Lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her. I know it. They won't let her see her own mother, my poor baby. I out for her. I get in. What does she look like? Grey fur, names, oh, I ran into Rosa too, didn't I? Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20. They heard a single whisker on my baby's face. So I'm going to burn this hive to the ground. You're so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. She's been visiting the bike before. Told me she was a waitress, but I asked around this whole surface drugs and sleaze. When did you last see her? Two, three weeks ago. Wow, we had a fight. So you thought about her job at the bite and now and that was the last time you saw her. What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. Do you know of any other way in? No, I've heard voices up in the roof, but how do you get up, get there? So you tried to get in. How did that work? Well, I've been coming for some days, right? And I've seen the cider truck before. Guy says this phrase into the intercom and let's... Oh, good phrase. What's the code? I memorised it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let, let me in. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. <laughs> Well, thanks for helping me out. I'll let her go. Look for a way in there. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need her. Please, take care. So answer though. There's filled with cardboard boxes that smells like rust. There is a weird looking recording device on the dashboard. The component seems to be unlocked. Component. You open the component and find a couple of newspapers, documents that look like invoices or checks. Look at invoices. Look at the invoice. They all mention a company called Starling Cider, limited purchase unnamed goods from Bite Foods. Most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Good. Newspaper turned newspaper for September, October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Read the headlines. Then it continues geese may be spreading disease. This is war attack leaves three defenders wounded. Look at this again. Get close. Try to use the device. It's a voice recording device hardwired into the truck. Dashboard probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recording if you enter correct date dates. Dates from the invoice and newspaper. Got three packages for you. Geese damn you, I can't something. Oh, damn you, I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I will leave. Uh, we have five packages ready for pickup. There is, that is all I could fit in the truck. You're four hours late. Leave me alone. Uh, recording device, dashboard, put them up. There's nothing else, was that? Yeah. We've been spec. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. Great fire, damn! Looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. 
I got stuck in the jam, let me in. Hey, sorry. Can't have your balls ready to load. There's a prank, get out. What? I thought she said to create fire. You find her. Fatch. I thought she said that. Apes, sorry, can you buzz me in? Whatever, we got one package today. Prepare them for loading. Get ready to load. Good, let me in then. Prepare them for loading. Get out, of course, you're Because that was wrong. Oh my god, seriously. Uh, what I hit, it was a great pair. Fuck, I forgot which one I hit. Um, prepare. Okay, so I'll probably hit that one the first time. Apes, great. Come in and wait in the laundry. I'll bring them over once they're ready. Okay, we got in. Again. Not like we weren't in before, but whatever. We got in a second time. Mm. This bar is just behind that door. Maybe I could sneak behind that angry bouncer to the second floor. Very clean, I wouldn't eat here, even if they didn't kick me out. Yeah, no, kicked out, like, seriously. And Liv going downstairs needs a turkey. Okay, so I guess we go back in. So how do you get past the bouncer? I'll just go up some stairs. Seriously? Oh, okay, good. Let's restart, so don't go to him. Oh. Can you see? I guess I press the crawl for to get through the door. So, second floor. <coughs> loading, loading, loading. <coughs> crouch, I is I can't hear you when you crouch. Gotta keep my profile low and take a peek into the other rooms. Jess must be there. I tried to hit easy on the room, it did not work. So how do I do it? Just Okay, so how, how do I hide then? Or is it supposed to be more oh, yeah, run. Okay, how how do I get past this guy? Because again it's two D. Do I just casually? Nope. Okay, I don't know what to do. It's 2D, you can't get around the guy. Oh. That worked. Thanks, Shepard. It's empty. Okay, no turning back now. Huh. Interesting. Oh, there's stuff on here. Maggie Moon is everywhere right now. Face lady, not really my type. Maggie Moon is everywhere. Okay. Just. Happy birthday, Rose. I hope they gave you a day. Oh, there's Rose. Nicely wrapped. Uh, gift mine usually came in a recycled newspaper. Can't drag it or anything now. How you can do this, you're doing this. Some honey for your tea, Mum. Swear it by Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fella. Okay, so how do I get through this thing then? Well, this guy's going to come back every time. Seriously? How do I get past this guy? It's 2D. Hi. Oh my god, I don't know what to do with this guy. Do I just sneak the whole distance and he doesn't come at me? I thought he just randomly come walking up this way. See, look. He's not alerted this time now. He is alerted. Ah, oh, I don't know what to do with this. Doesn't seem to be nothing I can hide behind. Being 2D.
And that looks like a ladder that I can't use. So where are you going to get like, put some clothes on here? And... Oh, the crap. Oh. Like, how do I get past this guy? Like, it's 2D. It doesn't seem to be like anything like, like you know, like it's like Metal Gear where you can hide on the side or put a box on your head. Right, um. What am I missing? What am I bloody missing right now? Can I go through this way? So he still comes over. I don't know, I do not know what I'm missing. Ah, oh, seriously, mate? Like, it does look like a high behind the lamppost. Lamppost. Uh, the blue plant or something. We might end the episode here at 1 hour 1, but I just kind of just want to get into one of the rooms just to see. Look, look at the kitty. Oh, God, seriously? They're supposed to get to one of these rooms first or something. Run. Now, I don't know what to do. I guess it's a good point to end this episode then. So we, we managed to break in here. And again, if you would like want this, again, Humble Bundle more likely has it since I got this from the Monthly Chosen. And of course, Steam. Sorry, I'm stretching a little bit. Yo, yo, God, I found out the yawn. It's a little quiet, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I apologize for that. You're only in the other place. So, if you like this, you can pick it up like on Steam, like I said. I think it's fourteen ninety nine with no sale on. I think it's twenty four ninety nine for the... Or no, it could be twenty four ninety nine and forty ninety nine for the prequel one. Something like that, anyway. It's not. It's basically under $30. And I'm finally making another one. And in general, if you like these like 2D type... I will say there's kind of a point and click, but less so type working out adventures then this is pretty good. I've just never been that good at these or really into these. I played this Sam and Max ones uh, that Telltale did and I completed the full season one, I think season two of them back back when they came out years ago. But I haven't really played that many of these. I think there's another game I played too, I can't think what's called. I think one of the games was Doomsday in it or something. I forgot what it's called off my head. But generally I don't play that many of these. These sort of things are super notivity trends to play more enjoys more than me. But yeah, overall it seems quite good so far. And I see the story's got an intrigue to work out what you're supposed to do with this bit. Yeah, so he's here every time. I don't know what you're supposed to do here. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, subscribe, and good stuff. And see you next time. I'm Tommy, you know some thank you for watching. Have a great one day, everyone. Bye!